and greetings. Welcome to video 10 in our series of customizing ISP config. This is going to be a continuation to video 9. The difference being that on this one, we're going to do it for all Windows users. Um, so we're going to go through through the whole uh, spew. Uh, but now I'm going to show you how you would actually allow root to have SSH into your Ubuntu and also how you actually navigate with a Windows software tool um, that works well, it's called uh, WinSCP. So let me actually jump right in. Uh, here's my Windows machine. Uh, I'm running on Windows 7. So the one thing you're gonna want is to, to start managing this piece of it is there's a couple things we're gonna do. One is we're gonna log in with PuTTY so here we are, are executing putty so let me open that and i'm going to log in as myself Linux. the problem that we have with windows is um we log in as a basic user by default um even on ubuntu 1604 and, and a lot of other distributions uh root is not allowed to log in with SSH, which makes it hard for Windows to actually navigate back and forth. So to make it easier, what we're gonna do is we are gonna edit a file, and you're welcome to leave it like that, or I would recommend actually disabling after you, you make all your changes. So uh, I need to throw that out there. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and log in as super user, and log in. Okay, one of the first things we're gonna do is, uh, let me clear this. Oops, I misspelled it. Okay, so let me actually, oops. I'll make this, bring this up so I can actually put the commands at the bottom. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually give root a password. So we're gonna do um, P-A-S-S-W-D, which is short for password, and then what user, root. It's gonna ask you for the Unix password. Okay, I'm gonna log, I'm gonna create one. And then I'm gonna confirm it. Okay, so that was successful. Let me clear this up. So now we know that the password to root, we got that, that out of the way. The next thing that we're gonna do is edit our SSH uh, excuse, uh, yeah, sshd uh, config. So we're gonna go ahead and nano uh, our itc uh, ssh and sshd config. And how I always find it further down, and I'll put on the notes, where it says right here authentication, that's what we want. This is the piece we want right here, okay? See how it says uh, permit root login prohibit? So what happens is it just doesn't let you in. So I'm gonna enter a line right there and I'm going to comment out this one. But what I'm gonna do now is copy up to the login. Okay, so now I'm just gonna paste it. Remember uh, with PuTTY just Whatever you did with the left, if you just right click to it, it's gonna paste it. And so under uh, root permit login, I will put yes. So mind you that I commented out the line, but now I'm gonna permit root login to yes. Um, once I would, again, once you're done with this piece, I would actually go back and comment out this line and put this one back. Um, but that's up to you. I mean, just because you're actually leaving, letting root log in. So once that's done, we're gonna control X and Y to overwrite. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce our SSH. When we do that, Putty's gonna kick us out. Um, so service, oops, service, uh, SSH, uh, you don't want you you don't want to do a stop because then you're 
kind of screwed you can't get it back in you would have to do it locally restart okay so let's see if it no actually it didn't kick us out okay so let me exit this and let me exit this that's kind of weird let's see if it took it so I'm gonna open putty I'm gonna load tutorial and now I'm gonna log in as root so root okay so the next thing we're gonna do so now we know that root can actually log in now what we're gonna do is actually there's a software that runs really nice under Windows and it's called WinSCP so what we're gonna do is, is download uh, and it works hand in hand with putty um, which is kinda cool and the website is actually uh, win scp.net and then once we're there all we're going to do is go to downloads and it's the first package right here so that's the one we want and what this allows you to do is um, basically transfer the files just like you would on your Windows Explorer so um, if it doesn't start you know if your download doesn't start go ahead and click on direct download um, but normally it starts so once you actually download the file I'm not going to go through the installing piece of uh, the WinSCP by now I, I I imagine you guys know how to do that part but what we're gonna do is once you have it installed uh, let me open mine so here you can see I already had my root so all you would do is just click it actually takes the files from your uh, putty so you're just gonna enter your root info click on login it's gonna check your credentials and what we want to do is on the right side basically this is, this is laid out the same way that an FTP uh, client is normally set up the left would be your local computer the right is actually your remote computer and you just want to be able to navigate the, the files remember they, they reside in user forward slash local forward slash I, ISP config forward slash server forward slash conf forward slash index that's where your index files are so all you're gonna do is just I would actually suggest copying them or whatever you're gonna do but all you're, you're gonna do is just load your new files from the left to the right I have this index file I just need to copy it over all I'm just gonna do is just drag it over and there it is basically when ISP config uh, generates a new client is going to take the files from here this was just like I said a continuation to video number nine that we did earlier um, and yeah again all that good jazz subscribe thumbs up and I'll definitely see you on the next one thanks a lot